Hey guys, it's Mindy and I thought I would take you this week along while I planned some of my spring break trip ideas. Now, I have a lot of websites and resources I use. I thought I'd take you along while I went through some of it to just get the trip ready to go. I use these not just on spring break, honestly, but like anytime we're planning major trips or things to do, but you'll see it starts here and I'll take you through the vacation with us as well. So let's get to it. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, you can click this button to do that and let's get planning. So we were actually just gonna stay home and then at the last minute decided we all needed a mental health break from the house. So we planned a last minute trip. Pays, are you so excited to go? Galveston. Galveston. We've never been to the island. Nope, but I am excited because there's an ocean and a beach. Love <laughs> She's like, I don't care as long as there's an ocean and a beach. So typically when I'm looking to plan a vacation, I love to use a few sites. Number one, Google Flights. If you haven't already learned how to use Google Flights, it checks every single airline's prices except I think Southwest and gives you the best flight options and you can search by date, which is amazing. Um, second one is Airbnb, which I know I'm sure you guys have all used to find a place to stay locally. The other trick with Airbnb that I do is I also use or Verbo. So when I look, I always check Airbnb, then I go check Verbo because I find Sometimes the same house is on both sites, but the prices can be cheaper on one or the other. And sometimes like their cleaning fees and stuff are cheaper. So just food for thought, always check both sites. But here's a fun fact about Airbnb you may not know. If you click on, instead of places to stay, you click on experiences right here on Airbnb, then you can type in where you're going. It will bring up a whole list of options of things to do while you're there and give you really great ratings. Another really good one for this is TripAdvisor. So when I'm planning trips, I always check out what Airbnb's experiences suggest, and then I go check out TripAdvisor's list of experiences and what their rating is really high things to do. For this trip, I spotted this paranormal and history excursion that has really good reviews and all of the reviews on it talked about how awesome it was. I think that one might be fun. Maybe some deep sea fishing. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check into that one a little bit more. Paisley just wants the beach. She's easy. One of the things we like to do when we travel to just make it more fun is always ask the kids what's something they wanna do and then try to hit those activities. So one of the requests was riding the ferry. So we're on the ferry. We actually just saw what, Paisley? What did we just see? Dolphins. They've never been on a boat with cars before. I think this is kind of normal. One of my favorite things about any trip is just resting and relaxing. Right, Chun? Yep. And you can see that it's exactly what we're doing right now is just chilling. We're in chill mode with the dogs, watching some TV and enjoying a little R&R. &R. It's funny because a lot of people go on vacations to like, it depends on the vacation. Sometimes you go to like cruise around and run around and see everything. And other vacations you go to just do yeah, we've done both nothing. Today. We've done both. Yes. But that's the beauty is when the trip does a little bit of both. So right now it's rest mode. Tomorrow's beach day. So we're just going to chill. Yep. So one of my tips for planning vacations is always to get on Instagram and check out the hashtags. So like I got on earlier and looked up Galveston hashtag and looked for ideas of things to do or places to take pictures. And now I'm also looking, you can see the hashtag right here, Crystal Beach, Texas. You can click on this and it's gonna pull up photos of specifically exactly the beach we're on and give me lots of ideas like that might be a great idea for a photo spot. I actually find out quite a lot from doing this. You'd be surprised. It's reading people's captions, you learn things and the reviews on the other sites I've talked about, you learn a lot about your vacation. Jackson, look at who finally got her beach day. Bye. She is crazy. <laughs> Do you not have a temperature gauge on your body anywhere? How can you think that's warm? There we go. Getting onto the beach. I've only ever driven on the beach twice in my lifetime. And the last time we got stuck. Here's some houses. Water in the beach. Oh, well, there's a bucket. What do you think? Oh, look at the sand castles. Yeah. Golf carts. Ready? Yes, go. Okay, here we go. This is how we get stuck. I'm not gonna this get stuck. Get this stuck. is like not even deep. Yeah. Now, now he feels suddenly very manly. 
what, what does this have to do about that? <laughs> One of the things we like to do when we are traveling in order to get good food recommendations is ask locals. So we are going to stop at a gas station and ask somebody working there where they like to eat lunch. Also, secondary tip when you're traveling, always plan time for you and your significant other to have alone time. You'll notice that we do not have any of the children with us right now. We are gonna just sneak away for a minute and grab some lunch and just enjoy a few minutes together that's quieter where we can talk about life or all the things without the interference of kids. We get to be us instead of mom and dad. Are you local? You're local here? Uh, yeah, I am. Are you local? Is there, what are good places to eat that are open? Like for lunch, is there a good place to eat around here? All right, we got a couple recommendations for Rita's and Cream. We actually got several recommendations, but a bunch of them weren't open today. So we are gonna try. Rita is not the lady's name. It's short for Margarita. So Margarita's and, and Cream. And Cream <laughs> is ice cream. Yeah, so we don't But they drink. do serve burgers, Fries. chicken wings. So we're gonna go try some of this. Sounds good. was a bus. Apparently they changed their menu and all they now serve is margaritas and ice cream. <laughs> so Which wasn't dead lunch for us. We're not and also that. it's very it's not super warm outside, so ice cream doesn't sound awesome right now. Okay, we're trying a food truck. But it says it's the home of the bad A burger. So we're gonna try that bad A burger. I'm making Sean wait for the food. That wind is so cold on my bare legs. I'm like, oh, it's too cold for me out there. Sean got the Philly cheese steak that he said it was excellent and beer battered fries. There you go, we're gonna try them. Okay, he's got the goods. Yeah, I got the goods, I even got some ketchup. We're gonna try them. All right, here's what mine looks like. Sean already tried a fry, he said it was good. They said my burger was on a oh, oh, oh. sourdough bun. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, Look that, at that Philly cheese good. steak. Can you see that? That does smell good. It's got, got chips. Provolone cheese. Yeah, chips, I guess, with Cheetos. <laughs> the fries are good. I had them in a long time. Very hot. It's hot, yeah. Like my wife. Wow, wow. Well, look who finally got their hammock time. What? I said, look who finally got their hammock time. Yeah. <laughs> are you reading Greek and Roman myths, yeah, Sean? Yeah, pretty good. I've read this since eighth grade. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah, good boy. Are you just singing in the hammock? <laughs> huh? Oh, there we go. That's what I needed right there. Can you stay out here for an hour and just do that? And just give you shoves and now and then? Give you shoves, yeah. So nice. Hope you loved all these tips and tricks on how to plan your vacay. We sure had fun on vacation. Yeah. And hope they work out for you guys. Leave a comment below if you've used any of these, what you guys think, if you have other favorite websites. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, you can do that by clicking here and you can check out other videos by clicking over here. We'll catch you guys later.